የዛሬ ትንቢት አይደም ከበድ ያለ ለየት ያለ ወጣ ያለ አሜን በስር ስር ስናገረው ነው የሚገባችሁ አሜን እንብታየው በሙሉ ለናተን ይድምጽ በጌታ በኢየሱስ ስም የዚህን አመት ትንቢት አይዋች ለመጀመር ነገሩን ከፈቱት አሜን ይሄ ነገር ሁለት ገጽ አለው ልደራች ሁለት ገጽ ሳይዳል አንደኛው ሳይድ በአለም አቀፍ በህይወት አጥናፍ ላይ የሚዘረጋ ሰው ለተኛው ሳይ ደግሞ በክርስቶስ አካል ውስጥ የሚፈልሰው አለም አቀፍ ላይ ያልኳችሁ ለዚህ ነው አለም አቀፍ ላይ ነው አንደኛው በህይወት ላይ በሰው ልጆች የህይወት አጥናፍ ላይ የሚገለጽ ሲሆን ሁለተኛው ደግሞ በክርስቶስ አካል ውስጥ የሚታይ ነው የዚህ ድምጽ ጉልበቱ ያመነ ያላመነ አይደለም ሁሉንም ይደርሳል የ2014 ትብታ ይደምጽ የእንግዳ ክስተቶች አመጽ ነው የእንግዳ ክስተቶች አመጽ ነው Spanish archipelago that's off the coast of northwest Africa. That's where the Cumbre Vieja volcano has been erupting since September 19th, and this thing hasn't settled down. In fact, the Canary Islands regional government says the most energetic moment of the eruption was recorded on Friday afternoon. That's when two new vents opened on the volcano's crater. These are new places where lava is oozing out, and the new vents eventually merge together, forming a fast-moving flow of lava. The volcano is located on the island of La Palma. It's one of the smaller Canary Islands. La Palma is only about 26 miles long and 17 miles across at its widest point. So people there are limited in where they can go to get away from the eruption. Spanish media say hundreds of homes and buildings have been destroyed by lava. This is an international prophecy. I'm a Now to that urgent evacuation at a popular Spanish tourist destination, a volcano erupting for the first time in decades, forcing thousands to flee. Foreign correspondent James Longman has the latest for us. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Lava is still flowing this morning on La Palma Island after that massive volcanic eruption. This is uh, on Spain's Canary Islands, very popular series of islands just off the coast of North Africa. And the pictures are absolutely extraordinary. Rivers of red flowing through homes down into a national park. Uh, lava, fountains of lava and hot ash uh, spewing hundreds of meters uh, into the air. It's thought this lava now is traveling down towards the ocean about 700 meters an hour. The military have been drafted in to evacuate people, 5,000 so far, but that number could go up. Five fissures opened up in the uh, hillside uh, and that they were caused by a series of earthquakes uh, over the weekend. This is as close as anybody's been allowed since the volcano started erupting on Sunday and here you really do get a sense of its power. It's an awesome sight. These truly are nature's strongest forces at work here, and nobody can tame them, nobody can control them. That is absolutely red-hot lava that is spewing continuously into the air, 
and then flowing downhill. That's why it's been so destructive to the homes, the villages, the communities that lie in the path of that lava. That's also a huge ash cloud that is pouring up into the sky, spreading across the island here on the east of La Palma. And we can show you what that volcanic dust is actually like. It's more like gravel in places. It's really quite coarse. And there is a thick layer of that absolutely everywhere, smothering everything. So even communities that haven't been destroyed potentially will have been damaged and maybe uninhabitable because of that ash and because of the fact that the lava flowing downhill has cut off roads, it has wiped through the infrastructure here and may mean villages are uninhabitable. But being here so close, you get a sense of how much heat that volcano is generating, how much noise it is generating. <laughs> Tonight, a new volcano vent has blown open on La Palma. Molten lava racing towards villages, a drone overhead catching the moment a stream of lava crashes into a swimming pool. Everything above the house black and destroyed, and down the hill, it's still green. We were running and uh, into the house, just packing uh, the documents. The most important things. The lava moving so fast at more than 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, the president of La Palma saying a wall of lava 20 feet high is burning everything in its path. It is like a science fiction film. The first eruption on Sunday following thousands of small earthquakes, a swarm giving authorities warning. And today, a new opening just 3,000 feet from the first one. More than 6,000 people have been evacuated. 150 homes have been lost. Most of the destruction engulfing forests on a sparsely populated side of the island. The lava is now headed towards the ocean, ripping through swaths of hillsides and crops. But scientists say when it hits the water, it could cause dangerous explosions and clouds of acidic steam. It's the first eruption on La Palma in 50 years, but so far, evacuation are saving lives. Temporary shelters now set up. Officials say there have been no injuries or fatalities on the island. Let's take out the most of the other. Buzuk's a Kenny Gasanafan, Kayasuska Buzuka Masanafan. 